<laughs> you know who it is, and you know what time it is. Time to piss off some feminist trad cucks and whoever don't want to know the truth. Oh well, let's get started. What is going on, gents? It's RPM here, reporting from Mobile Command. Gentlemen, we all know what the definition of insanity is. In yesterday's video, while I talked about how the marital rate here in America has fallen to even more dismal levels, aka through the sewers, from 6.1 per 1,000 people in 2019 to a parsley 5.1 per 1,000 people in 2020. Alan MJ, amongst many other brothers who I have to probably surmise are out of the UK, made sure to drop this info in the comments section. Boy, here we go. Now, this article was published on the 6th of April. Quote, unquote, a long time coming. No fault divorce law introduced in England and Wales. The red pill is about to skyrocket over there. Now, you're going to have the trad cucks who, when the everyday man says no fault divorce, look at how it destroyed the American society. What they're going to do, the trad cucks, they're going to enact what I'm going to coin the Venezuela fallacy. Now, I will go into that when I'm done with this article, because gentlemen, the gaslighting that was presented in this article and articles like this is off the charts. It is outright disgusting because honestly, I believe the politicians in the UK really believe that the everyday men of the UK do not have access to this little thing called the internet. And they have not seen how no fault divorce has absolutely destroyed families here in America. But let me reiterate, I'm going to explain the Venezuela fallacy when I'm done. Divorce laws have been overhauled for the first time in 50 years, putting an end to the quote unquote blame game for couples wishing to split amicably. That right there in itself is a fallacy. An amicable split due to divorce? Yeah, right, no. Married couples will be able to start divorce proceedings without having to apportion the blame for the breakdown of their marriages as no-fault divorce legislation comes into force in England and Wales. The change has been welcomed by experts who said it will aid couples, no, scratch that, women to move forward and secure the best outcomes, eliminating unnecessary conflict and tension. Okay, now another commenter of mine, Tony, said that yes, the divorce rate is about to skyrocket. However, as we all know, there will be another side effect that's going to come into play. And what is that? Men who put on the mask. So yeah, it would appear that HMT might get a hell of a lot more busy over in the UK. Previously, unless adultery, 
unreasonable behavior or desertion could be proven. The only way to get divorced without the agreement of a spouse was to live separately for five years. Sarah Gregory and her ex-husband, who she said was her quote unquote best friend and soulmate, went through the divorce system after 13 years of marriage. You see that pure, unadulterated gaslighting. Oh, he was my best friend and my soulmate. So why did you get divorced? Hmm. Sounds like another one of those, I'm not happy, <laughs> scenarios. We all know why. More than likely, there was another bull in her ring, rearranging her insides. But that pesky thing called the legal system had to keep her where she didn't want to be. But as we all know, things do not just happen for no reason. Miss Gregory told Sky News what, that what should have been a straightforward divorce ended up being complicated by the old legislation. She said, quote unquote, you were given five options and only one was really suitable for us, which was the unreasonable behavior. And again, it didn't really suit our needs because we simply fell out of love. No, let me go ahead and amend that. I fell out of love. And more than likely, there was another guy rearranging my insides and I wanted to go off and be with him. Quote, unquote, it made things worse, knowing that one of us was going to have unreasonable behavior on our divorce certificate, more than likely the husband. It delayed the process because it brought up some mixed feelings between us. So that right there shows you divorce 99% of the time is not amicable. Why? Because we men know that we're going to bear all of the negative brunts and costs that come with divorce. Quote, unquote, we didn't have many things in our marriage, or excuse me, many bad things in our marriage. So you're almost trying to exaggerate some of the not so nasty things that happened between us. I guess it created some sort of animosity between us. Once again, no shit, Sherlock. Divorce is never a happy occasion. She thinks the no-fault divorce legislation is quote unquote great and would have made her divorce proceedings a much quicker process. Kate Daly, the co-founder of legal services company Amicable, told Sky News, we are delighted that the law has finally changed and the blame game is ending. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, of course, women are welcoming this. And of course, the trad cucks who put this into play. It's been a long time coming. Miss Daly said that she found it amicable after her divorce, which she's described as a quote unquote train wreck and left her financially and emotionally exhausted. Once again, standard operating procedure. No one gives a shit about what men who go through divorce go through. How we are emotionally, physically, and financially destroyed by that process. She added, quote unquote, you hear so many stories of people coming out of divorce being utterly bereft with huge mental issues that can lead to debts and it could lead to further breakdown of relationships within the family, whether that's extended family or whether it's the relationship between a parent 
and child. If you have a more amicable way of approaching divorce, you will avoid these problems. And I told you, the gaslighting is off the charts. The Divorce, Disillusion, and Separation Act of 2020 also allows couples to jointly file for divorce. Under the new legislation, one spouse contesting a divorce does not stand in the way of the other filing for divorce. However, there are calls on the government to implement further reforms. Oh, gentlemen in the UK, they are really getting ready to bend you over that barrel like Marcellus Wallace in Pulp Fiction. Former Justice Secretary Sir Robert Buckland, and when you see this guy's picture, he looks like the typical trad cuck, told Sky News, quote unquote, I very much hope that today's changes will be a milestone along the road to removing the confrontational aspect of divorce. There's still too much uncertainty about the financial arrangement that couples need to make when they separate and part. And I think more reform is needed there and generally across family courts. There you have it, gentlemen. The women in the UK have just been handed the gun of the state. Now, to further explain what I mean by the Venezuela fallacy, we want to talk about socialism. Now, when we over here talk about how socialism has absolutely destroyed Venezuela, the NPCs will come out of their mouth and say, well, that socialism in Venezuela was the wrong socialism. The socialism that we're pushing for here in America, that's going to be the right kind of socialism. We're going to do it right. Now, when the everyday average man in the UK talks about how no-fault divorce has absolutely destroyed the institution of marriage over here in America, the trad cucks and the feminists over in the UK, they're going to go that same route. They're going to say, well, the no-fault divorce over in America, they didn't do it right. We're going to do it better. Hence, all the gaslighting that you find in the articles on this topic. Now, more and more men in the UK, they're going to be running off the plantation. They're going to say, um, hell no. We saw how no-fault divorce destroyed the marital rate over in America. You think we're going to sign that contract over here? When you just gave women the gun of the state? Oh, hell no. So yeah, the marital rate in the UK is about to plummet just like it did over here in America. And I'm going to reiterate, the divorce rate's going to skyrocket and you're going to have more men decide to put on the mask when they take matters into their own hands as well. It is what it is. Well, Read the articles. Let me know what you guys think. And ladies in the UK, the power has just gone out for a lot of you in more ways than one. That corrupt family court system that introduced no-fault divorce, oh, trust and believe, that's going to go out right along with it. And believe you me, there will be more men in the UK who take matters into their own hands by putting on the mask. You wanted it, you got it. And before that comes into play, more men in the UK won't even bother getting married. It is what it is. 
That's all I got to say for this one. RPM, I am